the advice of the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Good evening, Philippines. May gabi sa Tibuk, Mindanao, Visayas, ug sa Luzon. Maupay nga gabi, hayo nga tanan. Ito po ay inyong Republika. At uh, sa gabing ito ay uh, mapalad po tayo dahil uh, ang ating pag-uusapan po ay may kinalaman sa isang aklat na lumabas uh, tungkol po sa talambuhay ng uh, Senate President. Ito po yung libro na ito na bestseller ngayon dito sa National Bookstore. Nahihirapan po ang uh, National Bookstore maglabas nito ngayon dahil Uh, Mag-iimprente pa ng susunod na limang libong uh, aklat muli. Ano? Uh, ito yung libro na ito. Uh, halos anim na presidente ang uh, kasama sa libro na yan sa talambuhay ni uh, uh, Juanito Furaganan uh, na ngayon ay mas kilala bilang uh, uh, Johnny Ponce Enrile o JPE. Kasama natin na uh, uh, maghihimay sa buhay Uh, na hindi alam ng publiko kung anong klaseng uh, pamumuhay ang dinaanan o naranasan at sakripisyong na, uh, sinuong ni Juanito Furganan ay ang editor ng uh, talambuhay niya. Walang iba ako hindi si Nelson A. Navarro. Good evening. Mayang gabi, Nelson. Yeah, gabi. Yes. Nelson, bago tayo magsimula, no? before we start with our program, maybe the public would like to know just a little background about you, you know. before you go, got into the business of editing this very voluminous uh, book, no? Your background, you were a, an activist. Well, yeah, yeah, I was an activist <laughs> was during an my activist. college years. Yes, uh, uh, got involved in the whole First Water Storm movement. Uh, MDP ba yun? MDP. Movement for Democratic Philippines. Philippines uh, uh, but before 1970, before the First Water Storm, I had a life. Of course. You know, uh, I had a life. I was just a normal student who was going to college, of, the College of Law at the UP, and I had uh -huh. my, my life already set. Uh -oh. to go into, into the law and perhaps to go into politics. Eventually, a very normal life, but uh -oh. we're all swept, swept by the tide of history. Your parents, your lineage is Batangueño? Yeah, my parents and come you grew from up Batang in, in Balay -Balay I was born in Manila and I grew up in, in Malay Balay Bukit. Bukit. That makes me a really a, a Filipino. Uh -oh. Luzon, Visayas, you Manila. have the best of everything. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, and Malay Balay is a beautiful place. Yeah, and okay. I speak Cebuano also. Also, that's the best part. Yeah. The second national language, if yeah. I might say that. No? And then so, Uh, how did you get involved sa ano sa movement for democratic Philippines? That was the, that was the temperament of the times, no? Yeah, the the, the moods shifted mm. to the left, mm. Mm. very progressive, very anti-imperialist, uh -oh. anti-Marcos, uh -oh. anti-feudal anti-feudalism, uh -oh. bureaucrat capitalism, etc. Uh -oh. And sort of, I came out as a kind of a, a bridge among the competing uh, factions. You okay. know the. The left was divided. There were three factions in oh. the left. You were actually and socialist, or no, 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 not them, katalaga. No, no, I was, I was not not them, but the the the, the flow of history at that point oh. favored in the national democracy. Okay. But I was editor of the Philippine Collegian. Yes. Oh. oh. And um, the, the UP bias is for nationalism. Okay. Leptonia nationalism. Oh. Oh. Tanyada nationalism. Okay. You know that oh. Oh. that sort of it's mainstream oh. uh, nationalism. That the Nationalist Party represented okay. your father, etc. Uh, oh, oh, oh. But at that point in 1970, nationalism was captured by the left. Okay. Mula nun, pag nationalism ka na hindi ka national democrat or pro-communist party, okay. burgis ka na. Parang season, kapit, uh, season nationalism pala ito. Oo. Oh. <laughs> okay. pag, pag, pag yung ibang nationalist ka, recto, burgis na yun eh. Oh, oh, oh. Yung Renato Constantino, burgis na rin yun ah, eh. Ah, ganun ba yun? Yeah, the, the radicalization was so... was so rapid uh -huh. at that point. Uh -huh. So, ako lang ang, kumbaga sasabihin mo, one of the few uh -huh. remaining na cooler heads. Uh -huh. And they needed somebody who would face up to the media and uh -huh. talk to people. Kasi all the rest of the people uh -huh. were younger and more firebrand uh -huh. than I am. So, 
I really lasted only one month in that kind of role of trying to, to sort of balance everybody and present a credible face to the public. Uh, Mabilis yung pag-turn sa kaliwa. And then you were in the States on a, on a visit, on a vacation. Uh, what was that? What was, what was the name yeah, of Yeah, when um, Plaza Miranda Happened. bombing, uh -oh. that was uh, August 21, 1971. Yes. Uh -oh. I was implicated in that bombing, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. Johnny Henry showed me the original arrest order. I mean, just For now. you, for you. Yeah, for uh, me and uh, like uh, 20 other people, including Dr. Prudente. Why were you included? Because I was, you know, I, was, lang sila ng yeah, I was very prominent. I think they were really trying to pin it down on the communists oh. and on Nino Aquino, but they did not have sufficient evidence. Okay. So, ang inilagay niya yung mga kaliwete at yung mga nakikita ng, ng oh. tao sa, oh. sa, 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 sa television. Kami oh. Yun. Oh. But I had been out of the country for three months and I was, because I was on a study tour for okay. the Presbyterian Church. So, then, no, kasi, no, sa US. Sa US. Oh. Kasi nung, nung panahon yun, Sudan Power was the wave of... Yeah. Of the future, you know, Berkeley. Uh -oh. in, in Filipinas, yung wave natin ng student activism, parang tail end na lang yun, uh -oh. ng global phenomenon na merong uh -oh. Berkeley, merong uh -oh. Columbia University, uh -oh. merong Sorbonne. Parang uh -oh. ang Filipinas kasi gaya-gaya putumaya. -gaya uh -oh. So, uh -oh. nung nag erupt yung, yung student movement dito sa Pilipinas, uh -oh. suddenly they were curious about what was happening in the Philippines. Kami yung nakakuha uh -oh. ng invitasyon. Uh -oh. So, since I was very prominent in the student movement. So, they movement, wanted to hear you. Yeah, uh -oh. to hear me about uh -oh. one, um, about what was happening in the Philippines. So, I, I went on a tour around the United States, visited Boston, Chicago, uh -huh. uh, Wisconsin, Berkeley. So, you were about to come home. That when yes. you found out, you found out you were going to be arrested? I was in San Francisco already. When you found out you were going to be arrested? No, you had no idea about that. Yeah, b because what happened was that they suddenly announced that... Uh, the following day? They, they bombing na, no? And oh. then these are the suspects. Nakapangalan ka, no? <laughs> Nakapangalan ka agad ako, eh. So, hindi ka na umuwi ka agad? Siyempre, sabi ng magulang, huwag kang uuwi dito. Hintayan natin na lumamig. Eh, hindi na lumamig. Kasi from Plaza Miranda, tuloy-tuloy na yan hanggang nag-marsha, no? Di lalo akong napako. So, ano nangyari? You, you went on a, ano ka, nag-asylum ka doon? Yes. I applied for asylum. Ah, political asylum yes, talaga, yes. ha? But it took 10 years for me to gain that status. I was in limbo. I was in sort of like a... Uh, uh, neither Who helped you? The, 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 the group the, that the invited Presbyterian you? The Church, I the Methodist see, okay. Church. They gave me a fellowship that saw me through those uh, hard times. Kasi, mahirap. Who will support me? I mean, I had no legal status. So, nag ka na doon? No, uh, after na natapos yung uh, tulong sa akin ng, 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 ng Presbyterian, it was becoming permanent already, uh -oh. you know, na parang kwan. I decided to go back to school. Okay. I went to Columbia University okay. and won a fellowship. Yeah, para alam ng publiko yan. Yeah. Okay. And then after the fellowship, na natanggap ako as a reporter with the Trenton Times okay. in New Jersey. Uh -oh. And then the Methodists, we had, they had uh, publications. I became uh -oh. senior writer for that pu publication. Uh -oh. I was able to travel all over the world <laughs> because of that. So, uh -oh. sabi mo, malungkot ka ba kasi na, na, na si, sinira ni Marcos yung buhay mo? Uh -oh. Well, Malungkot talaga and, and oh. um, that sort of thing. But on the contrary, I, I did something about my life. Hindi oh. ka just exile, magmumukmuk ka lang, di oh. mag-aaral ka, oh. ayusin mo ang sarili mo. And oh. I had the, the most beautiful years of my life, ironically. <laughs> because, of Mar years. because of martial law, because saka, of Marcos. At saka I was confident na I will outlive him eh. Okay. okay. Bata pa ako, 22 oh. anos lang ako. Oh. Pero kung ngayon ako mag-exile, eh, I, I wouldn't not. recommend it <laughs> okay. for anybody. That's no punishment could be worse. But if you're young and uh -oh. you're in good health, wow, you wow, know. That's the best thing. Be huh? exiled. So now, uh, this was a, a court of law. You have established your credentials. Now people know what your background is, you know? And you've written a lot of autobiographies of other, uh, of other popular individuals, no? Manuel Pelais, Binay, and, and the rest. No? Now you're with Juan Ponce. How did this project come about to you? How did, how did this happen? Well, you know, sir, I mean, modesty aside, mm. when uh, in really sort of like uh, solicited or asked me if I might consider mm -hmm. uh, taking the job as okay. his editor. Uh -oh. Meron naman credentials. I mean, of I was, man. Uh -oh. na, although ang reputation ko, may, may, may pagkakaliwa and everything like uh -oh. that, uh -oh. he saw that I was a professional. Oh, of course, of I mean, course. I mean, I, I, uh -oh. when, when, when you're, you're a professional, you're uh -oh. for fairness. Of course, diba? of course. Uh -oh. And you don't second guess uh -oh. people and it, say. It was a big honor for you because, you know, coming from yes, your background yes. and everything, diba? Uh -oh. Coming from my background, people, why? Why would you really trust somebody <laughs> like me? <laughs> okay. I mean, I was the only person apart from him who saw his manuscript. Okay. In other words, if there was going to be a leak, okay, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <'cause laughs> <laughs> his oh. life was in, in my hands. Correct. I oh. could forewarn his enemies. Okay. Hoy, binabanatan kayo ng mamang ito. Maghandaan na ninyo, di ba? Oh, oh. Meron ng advanced alarm system. Oh, oh. But, and, 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 you know, 
Juan Ponce en Vile, he's a bit, he, he's also said, I asked him why naman, oh. are you taking oh. it as so many what, people oh. who come back in this country, sabi niya, kasi nanu, taga kabila ka eh, okay. kanya kinuha kita, oh. kasi kabila ka, because I expect a friend and a critic okay. to help me, oh. and you are both. In oh. fact, yun ang sinulat niya sa akin sa dedication sa libro, oh, okay. thank you for being both a friend and a critic. critic. Because that is how I wanted my story mm -hmm. to be told and that to be understood by the Filipino people. How was that? He just called you up? The, the secretary said, uh, Mr. Se Senator Elite would like to have a meeting with you? How was that? No, because, you know, I've, I've been a columnist for Philippine yes, of Star, course. Uh -oh. like I knew Johnny in Rio. And I know you're back in Philippine Star again. You're I'm going back to be writing a, a column, yeah. Uh -oh. um, he, he, Juan, uh, he, he sent people who, a mu mutual friend, okay. he said, can we have lunch uh -oh. and talk about these projects that you might be interested in. Uh -oh. And then he said, let's have lunch. Where do you want to go? Sabi ko, your preference. Sabi niya, would you mind Chukiji? Sabi ko, no, I don't <laughs> mind Chukiji. Oh, oh, Chukiji, <laughs> Chukiji. Oh. Oh. I don't go to Chukiji every day. Oh. Because it's a horrendously expensive. I know, I know. <laughs> Good fast <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. So sabi ko, even if hindi kami magkasundo about oh. the project, at oh, least oh, I had yes, lunch. Yes, correct, correct. Oh. Oh, oh. But then he told me, you know, Nelson, I'm not a writer. Sabi oh, niya, I'm oh, just a lawyer. Oh, and uh, I'm not confident about my writing style. Oh, uh, could you just take a look and see kung merong posibilidad oh, itong manuscript ko? Sabi ko, okay, at least no, no commitments. You oh, know, I will take a look. Aba, yung dinala, ganun kalaki yung, <laughs> <laughs> yung manuscript. Uh, I couldn't carry what, it. What was this, handwritten? Was this in computer? No, it was already in, in computer form. Kasi he would write his notes and then he, at, at, at 80 something, he mastered the computer. Oh, so, so 80 plus, nag, uh, na, natuto yes. siya mag-computer? Natuto siya ng computer. Of course, he had a lot of assistance, he had a lot of staff. Oh, oh. But the thing about Indile is he has, uh, he has complete library of his, uh, of his career. Okay. Low book, the press clippings, etc. He had a lot of assistance, but oh. a lot of it came from his mind. Okay. Perfect recall. At, you know, at that age, oh, oh. He, knows, he knows how to... Details, in short. Yeah, the spelling... A1. Uh -oh. uh, the, the, yung lahat ng details, pati yung title, you know, uh -oh. major, general, so and Pati so. pangalan, di ba? Pati pangalan, uh -oh. pati middle name. Uh -oh. Ganun siya ka-precise. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Pati yung mga places, lahat kompleto, pati date uh -oh. to, to the one. Kung tilyo siya, kanya yung book niya talaga, mas sobra ang detail yung na. Detail. Sabi mo, uh, and then sabi ko, manong matiti. So I said, okay, I'll read it. When I finally went home and read it, I couldn't let, let go of it. <laughs> <laughs> hindi ako natulog ng buong gabi. Okay. It took me several days to plow through it. In the meantime, in oh, wait a minute, part of it was written or all of it already in computer? All of it in computer. A computer already. na? Okay. Computer already. Okay. But you know, I, I prefer to leave, uh, read paper rather than the U, USB na isasaksak mo. Oh, oh, oh. Masakit, masakit sa mata, masakit sa mata. Masakit sa mata. Oh, oh. So I read oh, oh. already the, the one in the paper. Pag oh, oh. i-edit ko, USB na ang kwan oh, ko. Of Kasi course. Kailangan putulin mo ng putulin. Oh, 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 oh. Cut and cut paste. Pa, cut and, and paste. Oh, oh. And that sort of thing. But when I read it, may pasiwigi. You know, when I was editing it, it really was starting the trial of Corona. Yes. Oh, oh. So I wasn't bothering him. Oh, oh. I was just watching him on television and oh, oh. I, while I was editing him. Yung pala, uh, nagtataka siya, nagpapahawag siya, sabi sa akin, nagustuhan ba ni Nelson ang libro ko? <laughs> <laughs> well, he was creating history. Uh -oh. What he was concerned about is whether I like yeah, well, uh, posterity is very important. Posterity. So uh, after the first week of the trial, we had another lunch. I said, oh, ano, what do you think of uh -oh. it? Sabi ko, Manong, sabi ko, it's a very, very good story. And uh -oh. I'm glad you, if, if you ask me to do it, uh -oh. I will do it for you. Uh -oh. Sabi niya, pero sabi niya, hindi, hindi naman ako writer. Sabi, uh -oh. Manong, it's not the literary style. Uh -oh. It's the heart. Uh -oh. You wrote from the heart and you just you just express what you felt, uh -oh. what you thought happened, uh -oh. and as you put it, it's you have no monopoly of the truth. Uh -oh. It's just the way you saw the events uh -oh. and the people involved in it. And these are historical uh -oh. events. Correct. You covered six presidents. Uh -oh, yeah. You know, and your political career uh, from 1966 to the present yes. day, uh -oh. you know, talagang you were never really far from the center of power. Correct, correct. In some, um, in some periods of time, you were really as close as one <laughs> could get to the center of, uh, of, of the, the action. Correct. Gusto mong sakilin si Marcos, pwede mong makalit. Iba yan ang kind of oh. thing. Oh. Kaututang ka dila mo na talaga. Oh, correct, correct. Tama. Oh, oh. And then, you came so close to Marcos, and then, because, you know, very frankly, Johnny really believed in the in Marcosian vision of greatness. Oh, oh, as oh. so many other people, yes, the best yes, and the oh, brightest oh, in oh, the oh. Philippines. So he got carried away by that that the whole of Marcos. Yes, oh, oh. And you know, if you get involved in what you would imagine or what you consider a noble enterprise, oh, oh. it is so hard to dismount from it. 
Oo. Because parang walang iwanan. Oo. It's an effect. And, and, and you know, you have to admit, Nelson, alam mo, kung matalinong tao si, si Senator Enrile, you also end up appreciating another intellectual great, uh, you know, individual, di ba? Pag yeah. kausap mo rin, like, somebody like Marcos, yes. ma you respect his intellect also, so yes, parang uh, you, you are driven by the same emotion, the same vision, yeah. the same greatness, di ba? Yeah. When you meet some, a man like Enrique, or la like a man in Marcos, you cannot be just black and white. Uh oh Because this is an intelligent man uh -oh. who addresses specific problems and, and makes choices. Pero kailangan matalino ka rin para, yeah. ma para yes, rin uh -oh. maintindihan mo, no? In other words, he, he makes choices. Uh -oh. He could have done this, he could have done that. Uh -oh. And he did this. Uh -oh. And so he has to pay the consequences uh -oh. and the price for making that decision. Uh -oh. It's very easy to say, ah, he's corrupt. Ah, he uh -oh. just wanted uh -oh. to kill people. Uh -oh. But I don't think that... that uh, but anybody can make those accusations. Yeah, you can eh? make the accusations. Uh -oh. So I want to know how the, the person obviously... Alam mo, di ba, the road to, to hell is paved with good yeah, intention. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people start out wanting to do good things and they end up uh -oh. doing, accomplishing bad things. So, uh -oh. it can happen to anybody. Yes, now, yes. You, you could, you know, there's a such thing as pride, yes, vanity, yes, yes. hubris, hindi mo aminin na, uh -oh. na mali ka. And that's what leads to tragedy. And in the case of, uh, of Juan, uh, Juan Ponce, and really he went to the gamut of that. Uh -oh. He went to the gamut of emotion. Who, who, who decided the title, a memoir? You... Senator Enrile, who, who was it? No, I said since it's not a biography. A biography is written by somebody, uh, you know, some, somebody for the most part dead. Ah, okay. Tapos na estimation of one's life. Oh, oh. Um, but Enrile is very much alive. Oh, okay. Alive. So a memoir. He, yeah, a, a memoir because he wants to, uh, to make the as personal assessment of his life and the people who... Who he lived like with. a recollection? Yeah, a recollection, yes. Okay. Oh. Your, your suggestion? This, this was your suggestion? Yeah. And then why? Juan Ponce and really. Very short. Sure. Yeah, and yeah, I'm oh. just an editor. Oh, oh, oh. Yan ang uso ngayon, ano? The, the name is higher than even the title yes, of the book. Yes, yan ang oh. uso ngayon, di ba? Oh. Lalo na kung larger than life yung, yung personality, yeah, no? Kissinger. <laughs> oh, Kissinger yung Gandhi. <laughs> oh, yung, That's ganun, no? Oh. oh, yung mga title, mas maliit oh. na, no? Parang nakaka, nakaka-intimidate. But, but, you know, I think with the... 88 years and in the of center course. of power. He has the gravitas uh -oh. to Kwana. It, it is not just plain vanity. Uh -oh. He really is a man that you have to reckon with, uh -oh. whether you like him or not. Uh -oh. I mean, he played Kasama a very... Sa yeah, ng Pilipinas. Yeah. Uh -oh. For good or ill. Uh -oh. Nandun siya sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas. You'll uh -oh. have to tanggalinib one way or the other. No? And then how did, how did the ABS-CBN uh, publishing come into the picture? Uh, originally, did Senator Enlilib want this to go it on his own? Siya lang no, para no. He wanted to publish it on his own with my help. Okay. And of course, I mean, he has no experience in correct, publishing. Correct, this correct. is the first book that he has ever written. And correct. I was going to help him put together, like I put together the other biographies. Yes, yes. But obviously, it really is the biggest name that oh. I have uh, oh. ever handled. Okay. And the possibilities of this book becoming a bestseller are being yes. taken very seriously. In other words, you have to salute ABS-CBN, may sense sila ng market eh. Uh -oh. Nakita nila, kasi syempre, naamoy naman nila. Malakas ang pangamoy nila. Oh, malakas ang pangamoy nila. <laughs> and they okay. actually solicited a meeting with Johnny and Lili to ah, offer. So sila ang lumapit? Ma sila ang lumapit. Okay. And uh, of course, sabihin mo, as Oscar Lopez, the patriarch of the Lopez family, uh -oh. would put it, you might wonder why the, the patriarch of the Lopez family why? <laughs> why? who jailed yeah. the Kwanda, yes, Henny yes. Lopez, yes. you know, would suddenly be interested. Yeah, interested, but the fact is that ABS-CBN is in the business of media, yes. the business of publishing, uh -huh. and in really it's a, of genuine historical interest. Uh -oh. So, bakit ang kwan ba ang ang, uh, ang diary ba ay cover mo lang yung mm. mga ka, yung mga kaibigan yung mo? Yung mga gusto mo yung lang. <laughs> yung, mga gusto, uh -oh. yung mga kaaway, hindi mo napapansin. Hindi naman yata uh -oh. yun ang kwan. Uh -oh. So, give everybody a chance. Because so it's the people that will make up their mind. So, this is a professional... Yes, a professional. Okay. Parang the... ABS-CBN okay. grows above the, the personal feelings and uh, one and became very professional. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's, it's the public out there that will decide. Decide, oh. You know, and sabi nga ni Enrile, you know, he's only afraid of, of God and, uh, and history. Yes, yes. All the rest, he really doesn't care what you, uh -oh. what you and I think, uh -oh. you know. Uh -oh. Ito ang buhay ko, ito ang ginawa ko. I'm going, to, I'm going to take responsibility for my life and mm. for what, uh, what I did. Bahala na ang kasaysayan. And this is the first time that ABS-CBN Publishing decided to come up with a, a book, no? Because they're usually, as you said, 
Sa no, movie magazine. Movie magazine to ganito. No, no? But, but they have also pa published in-house, you know, yung uh, oh, oh. About, about about Penny Lopez. Of course. Uh, uh, <laughs> about uh, <laughs> Don Eugenio. <laughs> of course. Lopez. <laughs> oh. About the, the about the rise of ABS-CBN as a station. By Raul Rodrigo. But this one is really from the far left of, oh, uh, yes, of yeah. the baseball field, oh. no? And I think it, it, it's the beginning of something because, you know, before in real life, none of our people in public life have ever come, uh, come out with a memoir to about their life, you know, it would have been wonderful if Marcos had, had lived to write his memoir. Uh -huh. And Corey, to have written his memoir, and you still have Ramos, and you still have... Uh, I, I understand Ramos's will come out after Enrino. Yeah, well... I think <laughs> tina timing lang daw, kasi parang there... I think the uh, President Ramos is waiting for, for the Enrile book to die down and then, uh. then, then for him to come up with it. I don't know. You know <laughs> I don't know if I'm correct with my sources. Huh? I like President uh, Ramos. Uh, Ramos a lot. Uh, a lot you know. but, but I think it is a pretty hard act to follow. <laughs> <laughs> pretty hard act to follow. Because it's hard to coincide with everything. It's so beautiful and the timing. Oh. So what I would wish for President Ramos is the same kind of timing. Okay. So, kailangan siguro after mga one or two years. Hindi naman. You know, Hindi naman. Siguro, kasi siguro. But, but you know what would be a good follow-up to this book? Oh. If Gringo Honasan decides to write a book. He is. <laughs> is he writing oh, of me? Oh, di ba? I mean, I, I, I I mean not it will be like a younger version mm -hmm. and people will be excited because this is like military adventure yes, and, you yes. know, a, a hero worship type and, you know, a parang a Robin Hood, no? Oh. I, I don't want to be letting the, the cat out of, of the bag, but... Oh, oh. But I did have a talk with, with Greg Hunasan. He told me, sabi niya, Nelson, gusto ko rin sabi, gusto ko rin ikwento yung, yung aking bahagi sa kalsayan. Kanya lang, pagbigyan natin si Manon. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Kasi senior siya. Oh, of course. You know, oh. Ayaw ko naman siyang agawan ng eksena, no? But At all, mas bata ako. But, but I think, you, you know what works, no? I mean, you, you also have your, your ears on the ground. I think a Greg Hunasan autobiography would also be a, a very strong, you know, Yes. Uh, in the market, no? He has been as demonized. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I will not be surprised if ABS-CBN again decides yes. to. Uh, no? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Diba? Very interesting. Kasi A man in uniform yeah. and then transformed, rebel, hero. Kasi kung ikaw si, si Kwan, si, you know, si, si Greg Gunasan, lahat na kasalanan ng, ng, ng mundo ibinunton ng, mm. ng yellow, yellow yes. forces kay Indili. Ang hindi nilang ibinunton na, na siyang pumatay kay Marcos o siyang pumatay kay Jesus Christ. Okay. You know? oh, 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 oh. But all the crimes in between, ibinagtak na nila kay Greg. And look at Greg. I mean, he's still a senator. Correct. And well, he's, he's running for the, uh, this, this coming election and by all things going, it might, he will make it for the election. Yeah, he will be, uh, he yeah. will be around for a long so time. So, tamang tama. Tamang tama. At ikaw na rin nila pito. Hindi naman sila pito. So, I think this is nag, uh, nag-uusap lang kami. I, 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 you know, Nelson, ideas. I will make a prediction. You will be the, <laughs> <laughs> is he writing the book already? Yeah, he said he's already. He's already writing it? Yeah. Oh, well, I think that I expect but your name you know, on it again. <laughs> no, but, but everybody, na uso na si Indile. I mean, I, I won't mention him. But but every a lot of people in the Senate, a lot of people who are, are thinking. in higher position, I said, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going uh -oh. to do write my time. Which is really Kinahalan good. Pala mag note taking na ako. Kasi alam mo, si Indile kasi nagti take ng notes at nagti keep ng documents. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so meron siyang basihan para magsulat. Uh -oh. Eh kung sa kakung kailan ka uugud ugud na sa kakapal maghirap wala na nasunog uh -oh. na lahat na. You, you, you know, this book is very important because this is a narrative that will be contextualized to in, yeah. in the history of our country and people will be able to, you know, situate, you know, different events and eventually yes. make their own personal judgment. Kanya nga best-seller yan, Eric, eh, kasi lahat mo ibibili siya, tinitingnan sila kung natamaan sila, kung paano sila tinamaan. Oh, oh, oh. Or worse, bakit hindi ako binanggit? Lalo na yung mga nasa taas, ano? Oh. Oo, lalo na yung mga nasa taas. Yun ang, hmm. yun ang hinahanap ka agad nila sa libro. Oh. At nag nagkakansyawan. Bakit ikaw hindi binanggit? <laughs> <laughs> Ako lang. <laughs> now, when 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 ABS approached Senator Enrile, what was it? Uh, a complete package na, na, na package na. Not just uh, the publication. That's why we saw him coming out on ABS-CBN also. Mm -hmm. na parang ganun. Nagulat kami, it was a complete package. Sabi niya, alam mo, maraming possibilities itong autobiography mo. Mm -hmm. Pwede natin i-publish as a book. Of course, the, the original intention. Then, pwede tayong, the natural offshoot of it is... Uh, we can come up with a documentary that available uh, which now on DVD, which oh, oh. they did. Oh, oh. It's now available on, oh. on DVD, a lot of reruns. Oh, oh. And then, but the clincher of all, of course, promo in all the stations, yes, oh. mga teasers, the clincher of all is that, gagawin natin ng maalaala mo kaya. Ganun ba? Yes. 
in November. Who, who play, at November, who will play him? Well, I think um, Enrique Hill. Ah, Enrique Hill. Well, I think now, <laughs> no, no, the cat is out of the bag. Well, we're going to pause for a few reminders. Sa pagbabalik po natin, hihimayin talaga natin yung iba't ibang mga kabanata sa buhay ni ni Juanito Forganan at uh, paano fr from Juanito Forganan naging Juan Ponte and really po siya kakausapin pa rin natin si Nelson uh, Navarro ang, ang, ang editor ng uh, librong Juan Ponte and really a memoir sa pagbabalik po ng Republika.